so ladies and gentlemen most of the times i get asked a question that i have so many insecurities in life i am insecure about this i am insecure about that and everybody seems to be doing better than me not that everybody is doing better than me everybody seems to be doing better than me all right so what should i do regarding this and how should we handle this and how much substance is there to this uh, apparent seeming all right so we will discuss about them in short today and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right so why insecurity comes basically insecurity comes when we are trying to be somebody else should i repeat insecurity comes when we are trying to be someone else because when we try to be ourselves then we are never insecure then we know that what is our limits and what are our strengths so we know that i as a person maybe i am very good in this but maybe i am not very good in that and that's perfectly fine we cannot be perfect in everything and we need not be perfect in everything because if you are perfect in everything then we will not have any focus in life we will just be doing 10 things at a time and we will not be specialized in any area okay so on the other hand when we try to pretend that no 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 actually you know he is better than me in this area she is better than me in that area so i should also try to be better i should also try to exceed him or her in that area all right then insecurity starts then we start feeling that we lack certain things in life or basically we are a failure in life we start feeling like that okay so insecurity will only come when you are pretending to be somebody who you are not because if you know who you are then you will make peace with that fact all right if there is all the time 24 hours now this does not mean that we do not try to improve ourselves improving ourselves is very essential but the it should be done because we want to improve ourselves not because we want to prove ourselves okay so let's improve rather than proving because in the race of proving ourselves then we may forget to improve ourselves all right so many people i know they have proven to the entire universe how amazing their life is yet there is no improvement yes and why this insecurity comes at a superficial level is because we are not happy with our own life we are not convinced about ourselves we we have self doubts this is the reason insecurity creeps in because if we know who we are if we know if we know that what we are doing is right what we are doing is good then insecurity cannot come all right insecurity comes when we are not doing something which we know which we should do and we are trying to hide behind and we are trying to pretend as if you know oh no no it doesn't matter you know this is fine that is fine no it doesn't work like that when what you think and what you want and what you do is in one line when that harmony is there between your thoughts and your mind and your actions all right only then there can be no insecurity okay so one of the most important principles is that we do not we should not judge people from their superficial life of the social media because many times i get messages where people tell me that every time uh, any time i open facebook i only see smiling faces yes you will see that because everybody posts their success nobody pays posts their failures okay everybody posts their achievements nobody will post the things that they lost have you seen ever 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 anybody in facebook posting or oh, suppose they were fired from a job will you ever see somebody posting it fired from job <laughs> all right so everybody wants to convince everybody else that 
mine is the best life i am the most important person in this world you must respect me that is why i have seen people fighting over not liking each other's posts okay there are people who i know who unfollow each other because they are having some fights now this this bickering game starts yes he has unfollowed me i will unfollow her she has unfollowed me he will unfollow him <laughs> all right so basically these are games which we play not with anybody else with ourselves when we are not convinced about ourselves when we doubt ourselves when we do not do what we should do okay so <coughs> if you are closely linked with somebody only then you will know that <coughs> nobody has a rosy life in this material world <coughs> which means you will never ever ever find somebody <coughs> who just gets up in the morning and things just happen magically but when we keep seeing social media 24 hours <coughs> yes then this is what happens then what happens our mind is such a cheater what the mind says hey look you bloody loser your childhood friend is doing better than you you are good for nothing you are a piece of garbage you are a piece of <laughs> raise your hands and write it in the comments if your mind says like this okay so recently i was uh, talking to uh, one of my uh, neighbors here in my apartment so i told her that i have a channel in youtube and she was also very much interested to open a channel and then she was like no 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 but i will not open i said why you will not open she said that i want to open you know but the only problem is you know there are so many good looking girls out there in youtube who will watch me <laughs> i said uh, then everybody can give that argument right because whoever you are there will always be somebody better than you yes 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 whoever you are there will always be somebody better than you 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 can never be perfect in everything all right so if you are not convinced about yourself if you doubt yourself then nobody else will believe in you yes should i repeat if we doubt ourselves everybody else will doubt us so now suppose if this girl goes and makes videos then she will have this half hearted attitude you know oh i don't know how i am looking i said your video will be on which topic she said i want to make videos on painting and she is an excellent painter my god when i was seeing i was thinking that if i have to paint at this level maybe i have to undergo years and decades of training i will never be able to master that level of uh, painting beautiful painting which she does all right so that's a great caliber which she has but instead of focusing on that caliber what she is doing is she is focusing on how she looks and the surprising thing is she doesn't look that bad either all right but she sees all these girls in instagram you know post posting photos with 10 selfies you know 10 uh, uh, what they say filter yes with uh, different people you know in different exotic locations you know <laughs> like exotic astrology so and they appear to be very good and lot of makeup is there lot of a uh, lot of exercises behind and exercise I, i i don't mean the physical exercise i mean lot of work is behind those photos okay in social media and uh, there are many people who i know who purchase softwares and who will you know edit those photos 10 times 20 times 30 times so that they can look the best in there so i try to explain her that uh, you should focus on your content your passion you should not focus on unnecessary things like how good is your english or how do you look or anything else i mean it can be anything how much money do you have you know where do you live are you living in india or you are living in germany wherever you are living that, that's not important because people will not follow you for superficial things yes people will the genuine people they will only follow you for what you stand for okay so your passion your content that will be the defining moment that will be the defining axis of your success in life okay so if we have believe in ourselves that i can do this good in a in a better way better means not better than somebody else but i can do this in a relatively very very good way you know in a way that uh, appeals to people 
then we should focus on that so rather than crying on the things that we can't we should sit down and start doing the things which we can do because there are many things which we cannot do but there are also many things which we can do at our level we forget that we only focus on the things that we cannot do okay so rather than focusing on the things that we cannot do if we start focusing on the things that we can do then life becomes much more simple but at the end it could happen that you do all of these and still you end up feeling insecure why that happens because there's a because when we feel lonely in this world when we feel that there's nobody to support me then it is but natural to feel insecure because you may feel that i just want to be myself but what if something happens to me tomorrow no, nobody is there to take care of me this this can happen that can happen unlimited number of possibilities well for that we should uh, read scriptures like the bhagavad gita or shrimad bhagavatam or the bible or the quran because then what happens is we will realize that we are not uh, this body we are spirit soul okay that is what the gita says and lord krishna also says in the gita that ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishthati which means i am seated as the ishwara in everybody's heart so when we elevate our consciousness spiritually then we will also be able to see ourselves more clearly we will be able to know our strengths and our weaknesses and we will be able to work on our strengths and ignore the weaknesses okay so we, we everybody has weaknesses nobody is perfect so if we ignore the things that we are weak and we focus on the things that we are good at then life becomes much 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 better actually all right so anybody who feels that i am insecure due to some reason well understand that nobody has a rosy life all right it's all on the photos and on instagram nobody actually has that kind of a life at least i know many people who appear to be so happy but they are the most miserable people and i have been seeing such people from my childhood days my grandfather had been an is officer indian administrative service it's the uh, one of the most top ranked officials bureaucrats in india and my father has also been had also been a very senior level bureaucrat you know he was in the home department and he was a commissioner and secretary in the department of agriculture in 2010 so i have seen politicians i have seen film stars i have seen all the cream of the society and they are hell bent on proving to everybody that their lives are the best all right yet there is no improvement <laughs> so the thumb rule is that we should not judge people on what they appear to be like in social media okay because everybody wants to show how great they are all right everybody wants to prove how great they are nobody wants to improve okay and secondly we should start improving ourselves take steps focus on our strengths all right and the third and the most important is we have to associate ourselves with the divine vibration we can read scriptures like the brahma samhita okay so when we read the brahma samhita we will get a description of how the spiritual world looks like venum kwananta maravinda dalaya taksham barahavatam samasitam budasundarangam lakshmi sahastra satasambrama sevyamanam govindamadi purusham tamaham bajame yasya sada next time <laughs> all right and at the end it is also very important that we disassociate ourselves from those people who make us feel more insecure okay so for example i know many people uh who have certain problems in their body okay so somebody have issues with weight or somebody is one part of their body is deformed or uh there are some other issues somebody cannot walk properly so then what happens is their conception of uh ha- not having a very good body is reinstantiated when somebody comments okay so suppose somebody has some bodily issue and then 
you go and you comment oh, okay from how long are you having this problem so what did you do to get rid of this you know now of course somebody may ask genuinely that's fine but if every time somebody is pointing out the weaknesses which we have then it is not very good to associate with that person okay instead we should associate with those people who will encourage us to convert our strength uh, weaknesses into strengths okay and uh, we should also join spiritual communities in the weekends by which we can actually understand that ultimately life has a deeper purpose and a deeper meaning okay rather than just sitting and crying that you know this didn't happen that didn't happen okay so let us know ourselves know our limitations and uh, associate ourselves with the divine vibration of god only then we will be able to get rid of insecurities and loneliness and self doubt okay and have the company of right people there you go that is all from my side and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you feel is very insecure about something and if you want a consultation from me you can always go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and don't be insecure <laughs> okay wish you all the best bye bye